we're really pleased to announce a significant new addition to our 11K line, the 11403 oscilloscope. You know, this is the first full color oscilloscope in the Tektronics family, and we're proud to bring it to you. With the new color displays that you see on the oscilloscope, it will be easier for our customers to delineate traces and keep them straight. This is very important with our multi-channel capability, with our ability to combine waveforms, create new waveforms, have up to eight traces on the display at one time, the color will be even more important to keep the various traces separated. And the 11403 brings also waveform labeling, which provides another feature for ease of use to keep the traces separated in the customer's mind. In addition, we have the rock-solid feature set of the traditional 11K line. Beginning with accuracy, the most accurate scope in the world. And of course, our plug-in flexibility, which offers more channels than any other competitor in the high performance range. And we have the ability to do a wide variety of automatic measurements, faster than anyone else. Our multiple microprocessor architecture speeds these measurements to screen at an unprecedented rate. Along with these features, we have unsurpassed stability and repeatability, which are so important for automatic testing applications. Not to mention the throughput, which allows more tests per minute than any other oscilloscope. And finally, to help you communicate these new powerful features and benefits to your customers, we have a comprehensive set of introductory materials for your use, beginning with our new style of 11K documentation in full color. And of course, we have sales guides, data sheets, and other sales aid material for your use. Each of you will receive a personalized kit today so that you can go out and begin selling immediately. And to begin that process, we have a series of videotapes, including a demo videotape, which follows now to help you bring the message to your customers. Good luck and good selling. Jeff. Hi, Chris. Come on in and take a load off. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for letting me bring this by. Won't take too long. Looks like you're a busy guy. Yeah, pardon the clutter. An occupational hazard, I guess. Well, that's okay. Part of the process. But you know, it seems like lately things seem to get a little neater by the time I leave. You running a janitorial <laughs> service on the side? And then something a lot better than that. Let's take a look. Right. Well, I cleared my scope off. Let's okay. hoist this baby up here. All right. Let's see how it works. Hey. I've got the power. All right. Now, you say that this is an 11.4 what? It's an 11.403. It's a one gigahertz, including a one gigahertz trigger. And considering what you do and what this does, I think you'll find some common ground. <laughs> Looks like tech's quality control is slipping, Chris. They uh, left the front panel off this one. Very funny. Well, behind this clutterless exterior is the power of enough knobs and buttons to reach from here to the floor. Well, I don't need any more clutter, that's for sure. But I also don't need to relearn scope operation all over again before <laughs> I even... Wow, I like that. What? The automatically triggered and adjusted setup? Or the colored display? All of the above. Actually, I've seen your one-button auto set before, but the color, that's sharp. Well, sharp is the word, all right. Now, tech wouldn't let us use color if it fuzzed up the display. But this is the smallest spot size and the sharpest image available. Still, it falls into the chrome and polish category as far as real performance goes. Well, if you mean it's a frill, say that when you're overlaying one or more waveforms against a reference waveform, or trying to clarify what data goes with what signal. Hmm. It's a sight for sore eyes, all right. Now, how does that help me when I reach for the volts per div knob and find it's not there? Oh, it's there, all right. Right before your eyes. Here, pick from the menu directory. Say a trigger. Here. All major settings and readouts appear at the bottom of the screen, 
readable at a glance. Let's see. Trigger, select, source, level. Now, what's this main size and window hold-off stuff? Well, that's referring to the main and the window records. Now, you can use the 11403 dual time basis, like a delayed sweep function in analog scopes, to create dual windows on the main trace. Except here, of course, you get pre-trigger data, too. Yeah, that's all pretty clear. Well, touch one like measurements. And up pops a menu that lists all available options. Now here, for example, you can select up to six measurements to be carried out together, automatically, just by touching them. Let's see, duty cycle, phase, uh, gain, undershoot, overshoot, and uh, skew. And then exiting. See, six measurements immediately displayed and continually updated. You don't ever have to take your eyes off the... Wait a minute. Go back. Let me look at that measurements menu again. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's not your usual rise, fall, peak-to-peak -peak assortment, is it? There are 24 automatic measurements here to choose from. Duty cycle, phase, gain, undershoot, overshoot, skill. Well, you got the hang of that quickly enough. Now, most of those are new with the 11403. And notice that all measurements are continually updated. And that's a lot better than that usual one snapshot after another. Now, let me show you what else comes along with every measurement. Hit statistics. Min, max, mean, standard deviation, just like that. Yeah, you get all these statistics based on any preset number of acquisitions instantly for every measurement you select. So if you really want to know how accurate the measurement or how much circuit performance varies, well, you can put away that calculator. It's all right here. <laughs> sure beats the old plain vanilla take it or leave it way. Now, that's just for starters. Here, let me show you this. Hold it. What did you do? Are those knobs for vertical or horizontal or what? No, vertical, horizontal, trigger functions. Just touch the appropriate icon over here. See, it illuminates when it's operative. And then the knobs are assigned to vertical size and offset, to horizontal time and position, and then to trigger level and trigger hold off time. Now you can also assign them to control zoom and pan, delay time, time per div, and then set them for course or fine adjustments without ever taking your eyes from the screen. Pretty slick. How many waveforms can I bring up at one time? Well, you can acquire up to 12 and display up to 8, including then things... Then what rigmarole do I go through to reassign the knobs to a new waveform? Just like this. Just like that, huh? Yeah, just touch it. The selected waveform brightens, and then all associated readouts are in matching color. Oh, and by the way, just touch this window icon here to open up a more detailed, close-up sample of a selected portion of the waveform. In fact, you can zoom into 10 picosecond per div sweeps. Great. And I can see exactly what part of the main trace is being highlighted. Well, bring up a second window if you like. It's more or less like the delayed sweep on an analog scope. So you can really dig into detail. But hey, 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 I wasn't finished showing you all the math skills of the 11403. Obviously, you make good use of this PC here. Oh, sure. It does the data massaging, waveform processing, logging, that sort of thing. Well, one reason all 11400 series scopes acquire and update so fast, you know, without losing the display every time you turn a knob, is that they split the digitizing, executive, and display functions among three 16-bit processors, where any other scope might just use one. That's the power of three PCs right there. And there's also a fourth high-speed math coprocessor in here. So you can do things like this. You call up the waveform menu, touch the define waveform icon, select a function like differentiation, integration, then subtract a reference waveform from a live waveform, you know, whatever. Huh? Voila! And get continually updated results that are as good as live without shipping it off to Mr. Wizard here to do your data crunching offline. Well, let me look at that again. Define waveform. Wow. Square root, log, absolute value, integration. Yeah, you can do things like multiply current and voltage waveforms to get a calculated instantaneous power waveform. You could even create combinational waveforms using all 12 channels of acquisition on the eight channels of display. How about averaging? Well, piece of cake. Right here, and turn average on. Elementary, huh? Hmm. Now, the math coprocessor makes it possible at close to real-time speeds. It's averaging here at about 30 waveforms per second to 14 bits of resolution, too. 
Hmm, what do I need a computer for? Uh, write your mother, maybe? <laughs> do your taxes? No, actually, it's still the right tool to query for answers and log results. You just won't have to go through this bottleneck to get those results in the first place. Hey, let me show you something else since I uh, notice your record keeping probably isn't in contention for the good housekeeping award. Ah, I have my methods. I take notes or I grab a Polaroid or use a grease pencil, make index cards. Well, say you want to identify pin connections and signal lines from a device under test. Well, big yellow pads are good for that. Okay, well, try this. Here, select utility menu. Me? Yeah. Okay. Now, go ahead and touch the label block. What's this? My own typewriter right on screen? I can write my mother from here. Now, actually, it's a lot more functional for labeling. So uh, go ahead and uh, select a waveform, say five. And uh, now change it over to uppercase and enter a pin number. P I N space. And then go to numbers up here. There. Numbers. About uh, four. Okay, now hit position and use the knob here to position it where you want. Ha! Huh, fantastic. This is worth its weight in grease pencils. Okay, now go ahead and store it. Just touch store recall, right? And store waveform, upper left hand, and then waveform five again. Now you've got 128K of non volatile storage memory, plus another 700K option if you need it. Each acquisition is time and date stamped automatically. You can have everything you need to know about the test setup and the order of acquisition all in one place. The one place that takes up no room. Yeah, and if you need hard copies, just press this button here. And behind this button are the GPIB, RS-232, and Centronics interfaces, plus drivers to, well, tech color copiers, tech and HP plotters. There's even a bitmap dump to workstations, so you can uh, save the camera for the company picnic. Okay, okay, you've convinced me it does a lot more than I expect from a scope. So, convince me all these extras don't come at the expense of good essential yeah, specs. That's easy. The 11403 doesn't compromise any of the performance and accuracy features of the other scopes in the series. And as I mentioned, in addition to its 1 gigahertz acquisition bandwidth, its trigger bandwidth has been pushed to uh, 1 gigahertz as well. So you can trigger on the fastest signals and anomalies. Now here's also where you select record links, anywhere from 512 points to 10,000 point records. Now I think the statistics will help prove that this is the most accurate, high performance scope you can buy with a vertical accuracy of better than 1%. Now of course you still have all the plug-in modularity of the 11,000 family, so you can continually add, vary, or even upgrade your capabilities. Good. I would expect tech scopes to be more than just another pretty face. So, looks like we've just about uh, cleaned up your area. How do you mean? Well, think about it. 24 automatic measurements. That ought to take a few hours off this thing. Some days. You've got the most advanced waveform processing and calculated waveforms of any scope now available. You can use your computer for data logging and post-processing, but it doesn't have to be the brains of your scope. <laughs> Yeah, in other words, I can get it out of the loop between me and live results. Right, and in, with onboard labeling and huge non-volatile waveform storage capacity, we can eliminate this uh, Rube Goldberg system of notes, file cards, and fuzzy photos. But I can get sharp monochrome or color copies or plotter output when I need them. Yeah, and not the least, the user interface is so intuitive, simplified, and so clarified with color, you won't be dashing back to the documentation for refresher courses and complicated procedures. And when you do need documentation, the 11403 is a model of organization and simplicity. Looks like a clean sweep. Yeah, but where neatness really counts is right here. Clear organization, uncluttered operation, minimal steps, automated measurements, and precise results. The 11403 is the number one example of all of that. Now that you've tidied up, make yourself comfortable and uh, show me some more. All right, well, let's go back into measurements here. We'll go back over, let's say, what do you want?